Oh no. Oh no. Oh. So whenever you get a new bike like this, uh, one that you don't have much history on, you always want to make sure that the bike is running in tip-top shape before you really do anything else. We talked about fairings, we talked about other shit like that. None of that really matters if obviously the bike isn't running right. First things first that we're going to do, oil. I've already heat cycled the bike, drained the oil out, uh, and then tomorrow we're going to do spark plugs, coolant, and yeah. <laughs> Delicious. And now... Filter and put that on. Is that a piece of f***ing cutting board? While we have this open, I am going to open up the air filter, see kind of what that looks like. We'll get a new air filter if it's bad. Hey, that don't look too bad. Now that we have the air box off, we can go ahead and get to the spark plugs. We have cylinders one, two, three, and four. Go ahead, unplug them, pull the coil packs out, uh, then replace the spark plug. One thing whenever you're replacing your spark plugs or doing anything in here is trying to get as much of that residual dust off as possible. We don't want to take the spark plugs out and then get anything into our cylinder, of course. If you have an air compressor, uh, that works great. Use some rags. Just try and get as much dust and shit out of this area as possible. It's always good to just keep everything in here pretty clean, especially on such older bikes. So now we have each individual plug out, or we have each individual plug open so we can go ahead, unscrew the plug, put new ones in. We'll see the condition of the plugs that are in there now so it can kind of give us a clue uh, to see how the bike has been running. Um, or if the spark plugs are new or whatever. Either way, we're gonna replace them. It is like an 18, 19 year old bike. Always good to do preventative maintenance anyways. After taking these out, they don't look too, too bad, but they are a little bit oily, so that could be a sign that we're gonna need some new piston rings at some point. But I've seen way worse, so we're gonna throw some new ones in there. Um, and then next time we replace them, we'll see kind of what the condition is, see if we need new piston rings, new valve guides, whatever. So we have spark plugs all nice and fresh. Our air filter is nice and clean. What we're gonna go ahead and do now is clean out that coolant, finish the whole flushing process, then we'll go ahead and throw oil in the bike. And then I'm also gonna charge the battery to make sure that thing's full. Things should be running pretty clean. It'll be just kind of a quick, easy service on the engine, make sure there's no little things that need to be replaced that could cause a bigger problem. The bike did have a little bit of trouble starting um, yesterday before I uh, drained the oil. I think we should be good, and I think the bike should be running a lot better. Uh, hey, babe, yeah. will you do me a favor? Yeah. That hose yeah. is probably gonna leak some coolant out. Will you just make sure it hangs over that? I'm gonna try and pull it out though. Oh, it's all out. Never mind. Okay. okay. Cool. 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 Now I get to refill it, flush it. It's gonna be fun. So we've gone ahead and cleaned up the whole system, uh, flushed it. Everything's good. Everything's coming out clear. So we're gonna go ahead and throw our engine ice into the bike. This is pretty much the last thing we gotta do. Whenever I'm filling up something, ooh, whenever I'm filling up something, I always just poke two holes in the lid there. Um, that way you just kind of get a nice cleaner flow coming out of that bottle. So we just filled up the coolant, just kind of letting it run through the engine really quick. Um, Already the bike sounds and starts a lot nicer. Um, just feels like that power is a lot more there. I think uh, spark plugs definitely helped out with that. Um, but yeah, we'll continue to kind of tune the bike just for a couple minutes, but that's kind of where we're at right now. While the bike was warming up, we also got the 2013 bearings. Um, again, these are just cheap. I don't know if you can even hear me, but these are just cheap eBay bearings. Uh, we haven't gotten a stay yet from the six shop, so we're waiting on that, but then we'll throw these bearings on and clean up the rest of the bike. So there it is, just three things, oil and oil filter, coolant and spark plugs, all three easy and cheap things to replace that can make your motorcycle run great. Already, just with those three, four things, if you include the oil filter, 
Um, she runs a lot better. Throttles a lot snappier. She idles a lot cleaner. Uh, starts a lot cleaner. There's no smoke or shit coming out of the exhaust. I was going to do the brakes, but I think we're going to save those for later. It did make quite the mess, so that's going to be fun to clean up. If you like the build, like the video, uh, make sure to subscribe. Hit the bell notification, you'll get notified every time I upload a new video. Um, it helps a lot, supports me, supports the channel, supports the bike. More content out to you guys as quick as I can. Um, but yeah, I appreciate it. I'll see you guys later.